Hey guys, this week it's time to fit the race pedal box. Alright, as much as it's been fun to sit out here during the last week making broom broom noises, having its seats and uh, everything in the car, it's time for it to all come back out again so I can start getting these uh, pedals installed. All right, so I've gone through and I've been looking at the way the conversion was done and how the pedals were mounted. And what the previous owner has done is they went through and they cut a hole in the floor here and they made out their own panel, this own uh, piece of sheet they bent down and uh, welded into the floor. And they also made out this uh, cutout so that the factory pedal set could sit into that cup, into that area, and the master cylinder poked through the uh, firewall there. So, for my situation, I measured up the distance from the firewall for the brake pedal, and also the height from the uh, underside of the dash down to the to mid brake pedal to try and get distances basically the same for the race pedal setup. And this part of the firewall gets in the way just a little bit and I could cut it all out and re-weld it all in which creates more issues for potential rust and all the rest of it. It's not pretty but I think the best way is to actually just basically um, dent that back in, give it a bit of a bash with a hammer and try and neatly tap it in so then I've got clearance for my master cylinders and then I can um, continue on with the rest of the mounting. just take you through what I've been doing. So basically what I've done is I've uh, welded up the hole for the old master cylinder. So that's all flush. I used this old piece of brass which I propped up with the jack underneath the car against these holes so I could weld against it and the welds don't stick to the brass. And I've filled the holes up so that's all tidied up. So the old holes are all patched. All right, so the next step is to work out exactly how I'm going to mount this pedal box onto the floor so I can put it in, remove it if I have issues. What I've come up with is I have a piece of square tubing. The pedal box will sit onto this square tubing and I've drilled holes through the pedal box so I can drill some holes in the back of this and weld in some captive nuts into this square tube so that I can bolt the pedal box there and this piece will be welded onto the floor back down here. So it should give me a nice secure base to mount the pedal box to. All right, that's all now tacked in place. Now I need to go through the whole rigmarole again. Seat back in, steering wheel back in, and test and make sure it's in the right spot and then I can weld it up properly and um, we're good. All right, let's take you through what I've done in here. Now I cut this piece out to be the front mount for the pedal box and I got the measurement for this end, it's pretty good. But for this end, well actually there's a, there's a hump in the middle of the floor and this end is miles off. So I'm gonna have to do a take two on this and actually trim it to the right size so it actually fits properly. All 
All right, round two, let's see if uh, this time it works. All right, there we go. I'm pretty happy with those welds. I think they're uh, more than strong enough to hold the, uh, the pedals in place and uh, I don't think they're gonna go anywhere. Just wait for that to cool down and then I'll unbolt the pedal set and then I'm gonna reach in from up under the smuggler's box and do the back edge just to tack them all down so they're uh, not going anywhere. All right, the next issue I have to deal with is you can see here under the car the steel plate they welded in for the pedal conversion is rusty and pretty shite. It doesn't look like they did any rust treatment on it before they put it in and you can see where I've welded onto it etc. So I've got to get in there and tidy that up and also as you can see there where they plugged up the old master cylinder hole they've actually just bolted a plate on the bolts rusty and the whole thing's a rusted mess. So I'm going to get under here with a wire wheel and um, clean all this up and get it ready so I can weld that hole up properly and then paint the, uh, the whole underside of the car so it's um, nice and neat. I've just spent the last 15 minutes under here trying to get rid of this old rusted nut and bolt that was holding on the patch for the uh, original master cylinder and I've decided not to weld it up. I've just kept the plate in there. I'll paint over it with some stone guard, but I put some new stainless nuts and bolts that will mean that if somebody does want to convert this car back at some stage, they don't have to at least butcher that side. They're still gonna have to do something with this mess that they've built up, put in over here. But um, I've cleaned all this up now. It's all uh, wire brushed, ready to paint. I'm just gonna weld up this master cylinder spot and um, Give it some rust proofing and some stone guard and we're good. All right, and that welding under there is hideous, but it should well and truly seal up that hole now and now with a bit of rust proofing and some paint. And while I'm waiting for that all to dry, I'll just give this area a nice big scuff and get it masked up ready to paint. The black is on, so we'll let that dry. When, while we're letting that dry, let's go and have a look at the pedals. Next thing I have to look at is these pedals. I was notified by one of you guys who've got the same pedal set in their car, and, and he mentioned he never had a problem with the master cylinders leaking, but what he did have an issue with the first time he drove it was that the pedals hinge on these very thin sections just, just here and here. And I can see what he means, that they're there's not a lot to them, and the first time he slammed the brake pedal hard, this whole section bent. So my challenge now is to reinforce this, but not get in the way of the mounting points or get in the way of the pivot bolts that are here. So um, I've got a bit of uh, angle iron here, and I might have to trim and cut up some pieces, but basically get in and reinforce these edges of the uh, the pedals so that they don't bend. I've been looking at methods to try and reinforce the pivot points of these pedals and what I've come up with is I'm going to have to do each pedal separately because the clutch pedal is designed for the 911's cable clutch so it has an extra length down on the base here that actually I'll have to attach the uh, clutch cable to so when you press the pedal down it'll pull the cable. So. I don't have space underneath this pedal, but there's plenty of space above in front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a flat bit of plate and bridging across and just tying it in. So it's not just this sim flimsy piece. There's a bit of a cross brace across there. And for the brake pedal, the brake pedal has quite a bit of room behind it and underneath it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the angle iron piece underneath the bolt down behind and along underneath so it can still function uh, just gives it a little bit of extra support in behind on these plates so um, let's cut out some bits and pieces and start uh, tacking it in together
that's looking all nice and neat now, all uh, black and tidy. And then down under here. Oh. Hi guys. Guess it's time for fun facts with Mrs. Jeff. Did you know that Porsche is one of the most, if not the most reliable car brand in the world? A 2011 Canadian study found that 97.4% of Porsches from the previous 25 years are still on the road. Even Porsche itself is proud of the fact that well over 70% of all Porsches ever produced are still on the road today. And hopefully, soon we'll have one more to add to that number. All right guys, and that's it for another week. Uh, the pedal set is all ready to go. It's reinforced. The, uh, the actual pedal set itself has been reinforced and I'm happier with that. And I'm much happier with the way I've mounted those pedals compared to the dodgy conversion that was done previously. I didn't like the way it was done and I think this is gonna be a better pedal set. Yeah, it should do the job quite nicely. So uh, next week, um, I might even start looking at doing some sound deadening, which uh, could be uh, some, some good fun. So, uh, all right, well, uh, as always, if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. And you can also see my latest uh, Home Built Home video on my other channel. Uh, the link will be up here. And um, yeah, until next time. All right, see you guys. Okay.